Hello, and we're starting a new topic now, which is NetBeans and HTML. Right. What is NetBeans? Well, NetBeans is written in Java, primarily for Java to write Java. Uh, however, it's extended beyond then. It's a three platform, so you can download the software development kit and the IDs uh, that comprise NetBeans free of charge. Right. Uh, to do that, I've gone to netbeans.org. Uh, I've actually chosen version 8.1, which is compatible with what we have at school. Uh, and if we look, is uh, I've actually picked the all package. So if you have it pre-installed at school, then you are going to click Start Programs Computing, and you will see NetBeans there. Now, the all package can program in Java Standard Edition, Java FX, that's a kind of Windows thing. Uh, Java Enterprise Edition, again, that's kind of... Um, for building applications, uh, the Java Mobile Edition, which has now been renamed, but never mind. Uh, the ones we're interested in is HTML5 and JavaScript, that's for writing web pages, PHP, which we're also going to be writing for web pages, and then we'll skip down and we're also going to be using Tomcat. So we've got this amazing system here that's free of charge, and not only can we write web pages in it, but it will also act as a mini web server. Now, to down to NetBeans. So you start it, and you should get a splash screen like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go File. You're going to go a New Project. Okay. And in the New Project, you should see your different options here. And we are going to pick HTML5 JavaScript. And we're just going to make an HTML5 slash JavaScript application. I go Next. It now switches everything on. You can see the screen changes. Right. Uh, okay, this is where we actually need to be careful. Uh, on mine, it's saying the network location, which is my my documents. Yep. If I was to browse, and I could go to user documents, and you see it's the same location. It's just we have mapped it to the end drive, but the same location as your My Documents map to the end drive. So that's where that is. Uh, and down here, we have something called the Project Folder. Now, a project contains lots of different bits, and uh, that's why it has its own folder. However, I don't wish to call this one HTML5 Application 3. I want to call this My First NetBeans Project. So My First Oops. I'm writing again in camel case. I apologize if you can't quite read that, but I've written in camel case my first NetBeans project. And if you can see it, you'll see that uh, down here is within my NetBeans projects folder. It has taken that name and used it to store as the folder. Okay. So you do the same, so you write yours as that, and then you go next. Uh, we're not going to use the site template, so just go next. Now, uh, we don't need any of these files right now, so I'm going to untick them. And we go finish. Give it a moment to boot up, and what it's now doing is it's creating a set of project files, which we will actually be able to see on the left-hand side, and browse through. And we'll come to that in a bit. And here, if you can recognize it, is the basic layout of a web page. Okay, so I want you to do that. Remember, you've got to call it using camel case, my first NetBeans project. Uh, NetBeans is two words, therefore the B is capitalized. And that, once you've done that, then look at the next video. Away you go.